What's up everybody, it's Ben with SRKCycles.com and today I've got a 1982 Honda Silverwing. It is the GL500 and we're gonna take a quick walk around this thing so you guys can see exactly what's going on with this bike. Uh, let's get to it. Uh, many of you I'm sure are familiar with the Goldwing. This is the Silverwing, it's a little bit smaller. Um, when they started doing the baggers on the, on the gold wings is about when they started doing the silver wings. But I will admit that if you're watching this video, you probably know more about this bike than I do. So uh, forgive anything that I say that is incorrect. I'm gonna try to just stick to facts that I know, like this tire is in good shape. I'm uh, gonna pass inspection, a lot of miles left on that. This is, if you're watching this video, you're probably interested in this bike. I just want you to, to see exactly what kind of shape it is. There you have the exhaust. You got these these reflectors down here, your turn signals, and your tail light. You know, in here is the license plate mount. This is an interesting motorcycle. I mean, I, I I've been around motorcycles most of my life, and I didn't even know about this one until a little bit more recently. There's the Honda badge on the little tiny trunk. Then hook that. Let's see what's going on in there. It's like it's, a, it's like big enough for like a helmet. About it. Um, so there's that. This is the Interstate, which was they first started calling the, the Gold Wings was the package with the with the bags. I do know that. Again, there's your reflectors on this side, some of the chrome. This thing's in really, really, really nice shape for the year and for what it is. There you can see the the wheel and the exhaust under there. Um, but saying that, it is in 1982. It does have a it doesn't have that many miles on it. It has like maybe 17,000 miles on it, but. For the year, it's in really nice shape. See the seat here? The seat's in like good shape. No rips or tears. It hardly even seems like it's worn at all. There's a little indentation right there, but that might even just be the way it was made. So there's that. There's your side panel. Um, again, I'm pretty sure these are how the how it holds the bags on. They almost look like the old school, like the seat belt release um, helps keep the bags on there. There's your passenger peg, your rider peg, rear brake. There you can see your crash bars. There you can see your motor, the GL500. Just head on that side. Got some, some switches there for some lights. There's the side of your tank. Jump around here to the side of the fairing. There you can see your Honda badge. There's your mirror, all that stuff. There you can see the, at the top side of the handlebars and then the gauges and all that. Spin this thing around so you can see the front fairing. Get your front fairing. Get your turn signals up here. There's the headlight. Your front fender here. I got a little chip here I wanted to point out. Other than that, the paint on this thing's in pretty nice shape. I mean, there's some little like light discolorations here and there, but like it didn't find a, any major marks. There's your fork tubes, upper and lower. They're in nice shape. Let's jump over and see those on the other side. Same condition. There's your front brake. Front tire's in good shape. A lot of tread left on that thing. Whoever got rid of this beast put some new tires on it like right before they got rid of it. Uh, there's the side of the fairing on this side. There's your mirror. Again, there you can see the wheel from this side. Uh, yeah, there's the handlebars and the tops of the gauges and all that. Um, there is the tank. The tank's in good shape. See the motor from this side. This thing's in, in great shape mechanically. Uh, it fires right up. I had, the, uh, I had it running like yesterday. I had to do a little bit of choking and some things to get it figured out. But once you have that knack for it, I mean, it's just like one click and ready to rock and roll. There you go. There's your rider peg there. Shifter. Passenger peg. It has the, uh, the side stand and the center stand. Which is nice, you're gonna leave it apart for a while, put up on that center stand. There's your side cover. Again, we'll see the seat from this side. Again, no rips or tears or anything in that seat. A little backrest. There's the side bag. There's that same contraption that holds it on. Looks almost like that old school seat belt buckle. Jump over the top. See that seat. Come up here to the tank. There's that, got all your warnings. Fuel cap is there. Need the key to open that. So there's your handlebars, clutch, you know, high beam, low beam, turn signals, all that. Has this remote for the for the radio up here. So it's got the Kenwood radio, which is, uh, it's nice. It works very well. Here's your throttle, 
the throttle lock, kill switch, starter, start switch, I guess I should say. There's your gauges. I do like the analog gauges. 17,506 miles. Sorry, I think I might have said 17,000 earlier, a little bit more than that. This is your choke here. Turn it on. One fraction of customers using over 50 gigs per month may have reduced speeds. If you cancel balances, do well. There's the radio, which I had off earlier. Someone wants to turn back on. Sorry about that. So there you can see that. Oh, I just had it open. Enough. There you go. There's that. Speakers here. Here. Kill switch off. I'll give it just a little bit of choke. Make sure that the turn signals work. Oh, good thing to check. So no signal on this side, in the front. I got no signal on, oh, there we go. There it is in the rear. Let's see, oh, it came on in the front. There we go, not sure why I did that. Let's uh, jump over to the other side. There's your front signal there. And your rear signal there. All right guys, like I said, anyone who's watching this video probably knows more about this bike than I do. I'm willing to admit that. I'm not the expert in 1982 Honda Silver Wings, but this is one, the GL500. If you're interested in this bike, I'm sure it will be priced to sell. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys later.